Hello, welcome to Irshad SDL. I am Irshad. This is part one of computer science practicals for second POC. In this session, we will understand the SQL assignment experiment number 17 that is to generate the electricity bill for one consumer. This assignment is to create a table with the field names and the data types given using SQL query. And then we should write the SQL queries to perform the six operations given here on the created table. And we are going to understand this in Oracle Database 10G Express Edition. So as you can see here, the uh, six operations consist of, the first one is to insert 10 records into the table. For time's sake, we'll be inserting five records into the table. And the second operation is to check the structure of the table. So this can be obtained by writing the desk command in SQL. And the third operation is to add two new fields to the created table, means the already created table. The two new fields are given here along with its data types. So this can be achieved by writing the alter command in SQL. And the fourth operation is to compute the bill amount for all the consumers as per the following rules given here. The first rule is Every consumer must uh, must be updated with the minimum amount rupees 50 and for first 100 units the charges will be 4.50 rupees per unit and for the remaining units the charges will be applicable will be 5.50 rupees per unit and the fifth operation here is to compute the due date as billing date plus 15 days and then finally we have to display the whole data that is updated data from the table so this is the first uh, sql experiment so let us flip to the oracle database 10g express editions home page so here we are so oracle database 10g express editions home page so this is opened in mozilla firefox web browser so first of all we have to create the table all we have to do here is we have to write the sql command to create the table so let us write create table electric the field names are rr number its data type is var here 2 and the length is 10 the second field name is consumer name And its data type is where care 2 and the length is 25 and the third field name is billing date and the data type for this field is specified as date because this is the date field and the last field is units and the data type for this field is number and the length is 4 Close it, close it again, keep a semicolon. So now we have to select this entire query, and as you can see here, there are two options one is save, and the second one is run. So after selecting this entire query, we have to just click on this run button. So let us do this. Yes, here you can see under the results tab at the bottom of your screen, we have got the message the table is created. So our first job is done here. So we have created the table successfully with the name electric. Now the next thing we have to perform here is we have to insert five consumers records into this table. So this can be achieved by writing insert into command in SQL insert into electric values open and for all those fields whose data type has been specified as where care to the values must be enclosed in between the single quotes even for the date fields also the date format date value should be enclosed in between the single quotes okay let us enter few sample data here our number is a mixture of characters and numeric values so let us give it as a1001 and name is rahul date is 10 January 
2019 this date value should also be enclosed within a pair of single quotations and then the last field is units that is the fourth value we have to give the number of units the consumer has consumed the electricity okay so all what we have done is here we have written a query to insert four values into the table insert into electric values a1001 consumer name is rahul billing date is 10 january 2019 number of units consumed are 55 so select this complete query and click on run as you can see here one row inserted is what the message we have got that means that behind the scenes the sql query engine is processing your query and the data in the table the data is getting saved similarly so all we have to do is here we have to insert the other four records for four consumers so copy this query bring your cursor, cursor down to the next line and control v means paste it for other four records paste it four times all what I am doing here is I just copy this query and then pasted it here four times and then I will do the modifications on the data and then one command at a time so you have to select and execute so let us modify these names change it to Manjunath 12 Jan number of units so is 85 let us make the month as February number of units consumed say 155 units So the data I have modified here. So this above record is already inserted. So no need to select and run that again. So these other four records, I'm going to run one query at a time. So I have selected this second query and I will click on run. We will get a message that here already we got it. One row inserted. And then I will, I'm going to select this second record and then click on run. Yes, we got the message that one row is inserted once again. Similarly, insert this third record and the fourth record. Okay, so totally, so we have inserted five records into the table for five different consumers with the different different names and billing date and the number of units consumed. To confirm this, so we have to write select command select star from electric this is the query that we use to fetch the data from the table so you can see here there are five records which are inserted in the table so this is uh, for your confirmation and further the next operation that we need to perform here on to the table is we have to check the structure of the table in SQL the structure of the table can be checked using the desk command simply we have to write desk and then name of the table whose structure needs to be checked so desk electric select this query and click on run so we got the output here so this is the output you can see here under the description column under the description tab so this is the output for desk command so this uh, output shows you the type of the object as table 
a name of the object is electric and all the fields its data types lens and other constraints that we had specified during the table creation so this is the output for disk command so all we have to do next is so we have to alter this table to add two new fields to the already created table so previously initially when we created the table we had just specified four fields now the next task is to add two new fields to the existing table without affecting our data so all this can be achieved by writing alter table command in sql alter table and name of the table is electric add the two new fields are here one is bill amount viewed as bill underscore amount and the data type for this field is number six comma two uh, the amount will be in uh, a floating point number total digits here 6 comma 2 represents the 6 is represents the total number of digits in the value we are going to insert into the table and 2 represents the number of digits after the decimal point and the second field new field that we uh, want to add to the table is due date and the data type for this field would be date okay so alter table electric add bill amount number six comma two comma due date space date so let us select this query and click on run so we got a message here the table is altered so that means two new fields are added to the table for your confirmation here we have already written a select command so you can select this query and click on run so you can see here so earlier there were only four fields in the table now these two new fields are added to the table one is bill amount the other one is due date but right now there is no data contained in these two columns the further subsequent queries are written to update these two columns our next next uh, uh, task is to update the bill amount to set this column with the 50 rupees for all the consumers this can be achieved by writing update query update table electric set so which column we are going to set here is now bill amount column so we have to write the name of the column we are going to set or update bill amount is equal to 50 and there is no condition here so when we want to update something some data for all the records present in the table so we no need to mention any condition there. so update electric set bill amount is equals to 50 select this command click on run invalid table name there is an error in this query see the syntax of update command should not contain this keyword table so it was a mistake select this query again and run you can see here we got a message that five rows updated again to confirm this so, uh, run this select star from electric query that we had written previously as you can see here the bill amount column is updated to 50 rupees for all the consumers now according to the rules which are given in the assignment for first 100 units the charges applicable are 4.50 rupees per unit and for more than 100 units so the charges applicable would be 5.50 rupees per unit so we have to write the update commands to update the bill amount as per the rules given in the assignment so let me write update electric set bill amount is equals to bill amount plus 100 into 4.50 plus units minus 100 into 5.50 and this formula and this query we are going to 
use we are going to apply on all those consumers who have consumed more than 100 units of electricity so the condition should be where units greater than 100 semicolon select this entire query and click on run three rows updated only three rows out of five rows has been updated here because there was there were only three records in our database table which were having more than 100 units consumed so for your confirmation so you can confirm this update by running the select star from electric query once again so you can see here so the first two, two consumers records are not updated because the units are less than 100 units for the other three records the bill amount has been updated so now we have to update the bill amount as per the rules for those consumers who have consumed less than 100 units so let me write the update command update electric set bill amount is equal to bill amount plus units into 4.50 where this time we are going to update for those consumers only who have consumed less than 100 units so the condition is where units less than or equals to 100 units semicolon select the command click on run so two rows updated you can check this and confirm by running select command again see here for all the consumers the bill amount has been updated as per the rules given in the assignment so the last task of this assignment is to update the due date column by adding 15 days to the billing date so to perform this also we have to write the update command update electric set and this time we are going to set the due date column the name of the field is here due underscore date so we must write the same field name here also due underscore date is equals to billing date billing underscore date plus 15 and there is no condition we are updating the due date column regardless of any condition here that means we are going to update the due date column for all the records present in the table so select this entire query click on run so you can see the message five rows updated from the table so to look at the data complete uh, data now select start from electric run the query again for one last time so we got the output here so this is the complete updated data of this sql assignment here it gets finished so this is the complete assignment you can see here rr number consumer name bill date units bill amount and due date all the fields are updated as per the rules given in the sql assignment so this is the first sql assignment experiment number 17 from computer science practicals for second puc thanks for watching in the next video session we will understand the next programs okay if you like this video please like this if you like this video please share with the, all your friends who are studying in second puc and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much